All right, my friends, I got asked to do a video on the top 10 books that I would want to have with me on a deserted island. Well, I could not pick 10. That was very hard. So I got it down to 15. <laughs> These are the top 15 books that I would love to have with me on a deserted island. These are in no particular order at all. This is just the ones that I go to over and over again. The first one is Colin Thompson's don't know how to say it, Fantastic Smell Books or something. I This book is just amazing to me. It is some of the page, I just don't even want to color it. It's just so beautiful. It's just a piece of art. This is my, I did this. I, did, I was so proud of this, y'all. So, this is the first one. Let me back up a little bit. I'm not going to go through the entire book. I just wanted to show you the book and my reasoning behind. So, this is number one. Oh my gosh, I got a clear spot. Number two, Tenderful Enchantment, Carla Markova. I love her. Everybody that knows me knows I love her. I mean, look how many pages that I want to do in her books. Um, they're just stunning. They're absolutely whimsical. They're fun. I just cannot put them down. I absolutely love these books. So this is number two, Clara Markova. Um, let me see this one. Um, Ticket to Dreams. Carolina Kubakaska. Hope I said that right. I love it. I love her first one too. Um, Pro Drugi Snova or something like that. Her her just her books are stunning. Grace scaleish, thick cardboard. I mean not cardboard. Card stock. Beautiful. You can watercolor marker. I mean, I I just love 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 the pages in this book. That's three. Four, Phantomorphia. I know that he had a lot of issues with this book, people complaining or whatnot, but I love it. I freaking love it. Um, I mean, I immediately just started doing pages when it came out. I just love it. And I'm definitely going to be doing some more in here. Um, I did this one. I love Phantomorphia. Great, great book. All right, here we go. This is um, Emily Leadhall Oberg. I love the hardcover books, y'all. I'm a sucker for them. I can't help it. I just love how they feel. I love how sturdy they are. This is her second book, I think. Second one that I got. So, um, again, like the Clara Makova, this is just the type of the book that I like to color. I like the pages. I like the style. Um, they're you unique to me. I just really, really like them. I know I colored something in here. Okay, yeah, I did this one, and I colored the front. So yeah, Sagar. I don't know. I'm gonna try. Okay, we got another one from Clara Malkova. If she had a, more books, I would probably just bring all of her books. It's just seriously. Um, her books are so cute. They're just fun to color. They're sturdy, easy to color. Really nice. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five. This is six. All right, number seven, Mardell Rubio's Mascara. I love, love, love this book. I love the paper. I love that it's spiral bound, perforated. I love faces, so I love that it's just all faces in here. Um, I think I've just done the one so far. Yeah, I absolutely love this book. Number one, two, three, four, five. Six. I keep getting literally count seven, eight. I think Hannah Carzon Daydreams. This, this was the first one of her books that I got, so have a fondness for it. 
Um, actually, this is the one of the first two pages I did when I started coloring. So I guess that's why I would take this one. All right, the next one is Flowers and Gems by Grazia Savo. Again, just like the mascara, I love the faces and the pictures in this book. They're so beautiful. There was just so many books to choose from. I just, oh, it was very hard. So yeah, this is the next one. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This one might be um, a surprise to some people. Um, but I love this book. Um, Patrick has three books that I, I think he's got another one though. I gotta go look. Um, this one, I don't know why I have the first three books. But this one is my favorite. I love this book. Um, let me get, go back a little bit. It's Myths and Monsters, Volume 3, M. Patrick Duggan, Thor on the cover. Look at him. He is gorgeous. Just... I love this book. It's so pretty. I just have all of these gorgeous pictures in here. I took a couple of them out, though. I think the ones that I colored. I colored a bunch in here. Um, yeah, see, so yeah. I just got the title page that took out some of the pictures. Let me see. Okay. This one I started. I never finished. But I like how he's coming out. Got to finish him. Um, oh, and I did her too. I loved her. She's holding the bloody heart. Look at that. I love scary things. Creepy. Uh, so yeah, this is the next one. What are we up to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is ten, I think. Ten. Eleven. Surprise, surprise. Sun Life Drawing. Oh my god, I have all their books. I absolutely love them. Um, I was going to grab the one with the unicorn on it, but I could not find it in my stack. Somewhere. Um, or my sister stole it. Not sure. We go back and forth with these. But um, I like this book because the pieces are bigger. And I like the little white outline in between them. So I would definitely take this one with me. Animal Mosaics. Sun Life Drawing. That was 11, I think. This one's 12. Alice in Wonderland. I have so many Alice in Wonderland books. It's not even funny, so it was hard to pick. I was either going to pick the original. The original one that has like the original looking pictures in them. Um... But I changed my mind because this book came from France and I absolutely just think it's so unique. Um, let me see. I, I, I just, I love it. I go back to it. I don't even want to touch it sometimes. It's so gorgeous. Pictures are beautiful in here. So yeah, I bought this from France off of Etsy. I love it. Um, so yeah, this one is 12. Um, speaking of scary things, this one by Lauren Claire, which is in Whimsy. Um, she's kind of like a small unknown artist, but um, she's got three books now, I believe, something like that. And I love her art. I love the style. I love the faces. The cover of this book is so pretty to me. Um, I've done a few in here, but I had printed them out on card stock. So some of the ones that I colored might not be on here. They're all on my Instagram, though. Um, I like creepy. I did this one, too, in, like, green, and I had purple hair. My um, I love the kitty cat one. I did this one too. I did a lot in this book. I did this one. I 
I think I'm gonna do this one next. But they're um they're creepy. I like this one a lot. She has another book too that is even creepier. I did it's it's awesome though. I love scary, I love creepy. This one's nice. I love it. Um so I think I would definitely take this creepy book with me. I didn't like how the scars came out on this one. That's probably why I didn't pull it out. But I love the page. So yeah, this is Lauren Claire Witches and Whimsy. That is 13. 14 is Nightfall. Maria Troll. I love her books. This is the second one I have of hers. Another hardback. Um... They're beautiful. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I love the faces. I love the little creatures and the, the whimsy. Oh, this is one of my favorite pages. This girl with the hair. So pretty. I've seen this done in some really pretty um, Pinterest pages. I like the black background. I just think she outdid herself with this book. I did this one and I used some stickles. So, yeah, this is number 14. And 15 is Art, The Art of Coloring by Tom West. This is such a cute book. Um, I think this is one of the first ones I got by him, I believe. But I mean, look how beautiful they are. They're so detailed. His art is amazing. I love all the little doodles. Oops. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Did this one. Love some flowers. Look at the frogs. Love this one. He's just really, really talented. Look at this peacock. I love how he gives examples. Beautiful. All right, that's 15. Those are my top 15 books. No particular order. I just, ones that I picked out after thinking about it. And if you have any questions, just let me know if you want, if I went too fast or whatever, could I tend to um, just draw on. Um, just let me know. These are my top 15 coloring books that I would want with me if I was stranded on a deserted island. The next video I'm going to do is my top, if I can get it down to 10, um, supplies that I would want with me also. So look out for that and have a great day. And if you haven't hit that sub, I would really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.